For these Tunisians, the revolution is not finished. They're outside their consulate in Paris, demanding that the ousted president be brought to justice. What's remarkable is the huge sense of pride that people here feel for what their fellow citizens have achieved back home and a desire to be part of the uprising, even though they're more than a thousand kilometers away. Standing quietly in line, they've come to reclaim their Tunisian passports. Many of them are political exiles who fled the regime of Ben Ali. For years, the idea of going home was only a dream. Now that dream has come true. I haven't seen my parents in 16 years. I came here as a young girl. Now I have a 14-year-old daughter and she has never seen her country. This passport is thanks to the Tunisian people. Now my children know the truth. It was Ben Ali that stopped me from going home. Finally, this year, I can go back to Tunisia with my family. Long live liberty. Long live Tunisia. Among the protesters are Abdel Wahab Hamami and his wife Lema. He fled Tunisia 10 years ago and is impatient to return and see his family. Abdul Wahab was a student activist at Tunis University. His politics got him in trouble with the authorities. He now has political asylum in France. It's taken him years to build a life here for himself and his family. So he's cautious about the idea of returning to Tunisia for good. I can't be certain that things will change. I have to take my time to see what happens. Then I'll make my decision. The hunger for democracy that exploded on the streets of Tunisia is shared by exiles here in France. Getting their passports is one wish fulfilled. Seeing permanent change at home is something they're still fighting for. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, Paris.